Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to touch base on a brake bleeder tool that I have available that can make it a lot easier for those of you that uh, don't have uh, air pressure, don't have a compressor, um, like to do your own work, bleed the brakes. This tool will help you greatly. This is the uh, 9508, and the, what you get is a canister that will hold, oh, it looks like to be about a half a gallon of brake fluid. And it's simply all it is is just a pump up pressurizer and you would attach this to the master cylinder using this adapter that comes with it. This will fit the majority of your screw-on caps for your master cylinders. If by chance you have some of the older models with the larger caps and the larger openings, we have an adapter kit available, the 9508A, or you can save a little money and get both together with the 9508K kit. So what we're going to do is show you how to hook this up, how to go through and do a bleed, and show you how easy it is to use this tool. So what we've done now is we have this hooked up to the master cylinder. Now in this case the adapter that came with it actually threaded right on the master cylinder and this is on the L322. So this worked out very well. <clears throat> what you need to do then is attach the fitting that connects the two hoses. Give it a good snug fit. doesn't have to be super tight. Just make sure you get a good seal. You've got to fill the fluid up about halfway up the bottle. And then you have a pressure gauge on this where you can just simply going to hand pump and you can bring it up yeah, around 15 and then what we're going to do is start from the furthest point of the master cylinder and work our way forward so you're going to start at the right rear then left rear right front and then left front and then it always doesn't hurt to go back and crack the back ones open one more time after that just to make sure you got everything out Handy little tool, you don't need shop air. It doesn't take all that long to really get it up to 15 pounds. You don't need much more than that, all you're looking to do is push the air out, you're not looking to blow up the lines. So we'll let it sit for a minute until we see some of this flow out. I'll try and get the spot where we got fairly level here. This way we can keep an eye on our level, we definitely don't want to run that dry. So, let's start at the right rear. Alright, so we only need to really back this off eh, one and a half turns. And we'll wait a few minutes for it to work its way back. Now in this vehicle we replaced hoses and lines, so it's going to take a little while because we basically started with an empty system. You can actually feel a little pressure in the line when you put your finger over the end of the bleeder. So you know you got fluid coming. So here we got a nice steady stream. We'll crack it open one more time. You can see we got a good steady stream with no bubbles. And we're just going to close that down. We don't have to really tighten it because we're going to come back and do that one more time. So essentially same process to left rear right front, left front, and then back one more time and do the rears and you should be good and you should have a nice tight pedal. Now you want to check the instructions if you're using this tool on some vehicles that require to uh, have a, an analyzer hooked up to it to flutter and open and close the valves in the ABS system. Some vehicles do require that. In this particular case you can just do a standard bleed and you'll get your pedal back. So. This is a nice little tool to have. It's relatively inexpensive, great for around the house. You do your own brake work and whatnot. This is a great tool, especially when it comes time to do a brake flush, which you really should do on a regular basis on most vehicles. So when you're ready to do so, just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210. And thanks for watching.